These are the Skechers SKX Laser Comfort Pack. And in today's video, I wanna talk all about why these are some of the best control boots on the market for the money, including a very nice and stiff sole plate, a really comfortable shape and upper material, and of course, some performance that backs it all up. Today's question will be all about, do you buy these or do you buy some of the other control boots on the market? Let's hop into it. So of course, with all the Skechers football boots, you get a little tech specs sticker right here. Um, the three that we're gonna go over kind of the main three are the Hyperburst Pro, their Precise Strike Control, which is basically their grip technology, and then the Fitnit, which is the upper of this football boot. You get the Skechers football logo there, you get the Comfort Technology Company, which is their little trademarked saying, and then some Skechers football logoing on the short side, and then here is your size guide slash size chart. So these are in my normal size nine US, which is a women's 10.5 US, Euro 42.5, a UK eight and a 27 centimeters in these silver and lime colorway. You can see a little picture as well. Um, depending on which one comes out first, I have also reviewed the Skechers Razor in the Laser Comfort colorway as well. Um, so very, very interesting. Just got done reviewing those, and those are very strange looking, I think. The little Skechers logo there, Skechers football, nice little string bag, which is always lovely to have. And then let's get these unboxed. So as far as colorways go, I think the SKX, ooh, See, I think the SKX actually looks a little bit better, especially on the lateral side here. All silver, black accents, the green kind of slime, slimy lime sole plate. And then you have these green, um, these little lime marks that go all the way across in this like wave pattern, which is really interesting there as well. Um, I'm actually gonna do this up really quick so that we can get this going. There we go. So tuck those laces in. SKX, very cool. Let's get the other one out of the box as well. And then we'll get this down and away so it's not hogging any camera space because it's just a box at the end of the day. Not that I have anything against boxes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. So Skechers SKX in the Laser Comfort colorway. Again, as I said, I think this colorway actually looks pretty nice, pretty cool, very interesting, very different. Um, the SKX is a boot that fits my foot actually pretty well straight out of the box. I really like the way that it fits. It's very similar to a lot of the Phantom series from um, the past from Nike with this super, super nice and soft upper. As you can see, their Fitnit really comes into play here. It's very, very premium feeling. Um, feels really nice under any sort of stretching situation. I get a little bit of hot spots here on the lateral side here, um, but that goes away very, very quickly. And to be honest, these boots fit anatomically really, really well. The shape of this toe box is very nice and it does do a really good job of wrapping your foot and not making you feel super crushed. I think nowadays there's a lot of boots on the market that are getting really pointy toe box areas and that's more for aesthetics than it is for actual performance and fit. And I applaud Skechers for just making them anatomical and comfort, uh, anatomical and more comfortable because I do think that's the way to go. So from a tech perspective, you do have the performance fit in it, which for the um, Skechers SKX, O1 is the entirety of the upper, which is awesome. I love knit football boots. They have, of course, their PSC, which is their precision strike control elements, which is all of these texturing elements on the upper. Now, as opposed to other boots that might have grip elements, and especially in this particular category, so this is like a power slash control boot, you have things like the Tequila, the Predator Elite, you have the GX2, and Puma Future Ultimate FTR7. Now, uh, the grip elements on the GX2 and the Predator are actually grippy, like you can feel them and they feel grippy, whereas the texturing, micro texturing on the upper of the SKX, the micro texturing on the upper of the um, 
The Puma Future especially are very, very similar in that way, but it does give you enough texturing that you're gonna notice it when you strike the ball. So it actually does do something, um, but it isn't as grippy as those other two boots that I mentioned as well. You have a sole plate that in my opinion is really nice. It's very flat. So if you can see, there's no curvature of the toe box area, which for a boot like this, I think suits much better than uh, a boot that's got a little bit of toe lift. This sole plate is quite stiff in my opinion, um, especially through that toe area. You, it does kind of warm up. It does get broken in a little bit, but uh, overall, I do like the stiffness of this sole plate. I do think it adds a lot of performance benefits. And then these, most of these studs are sort of soft or rounded diamond shapes, um, which allows you to get good amount of traction in both AG and FG surfaces. I have found really no sort of issues with wearing them on AG or FG. I wore the, there's a black pair that I have up here, the original prototype model. They're actually on the top of all these boxes because I have yet to build um, more out. But uh, I do have the original prototype colorway and I wore those actually quite a bit last season on the AG surface at Flower City Union, and those were great. So sole plate performed really well on AG. I've now worn the uh, diamond, br brilliant diamond color, ice diamond colorway, the white and blue color of the SKX on FG as well, which I will, of course, test these out on, those, on that surface also and performs really well. So for me, this is actually a great product. Do I think it's exceptional? No. Um, but do I think it's moving in the right direction? And as a first go at a football boot, especially stacking up against some of the other boots in this like control slash power category, I think it's really, I think it's really hard to go wrong. I think a lot of players would actually find the SKX to be very, very comfortable. They'd fit, it'll fit their foot really well, and it will do a really nice job of creating sort of a, um, a sensation of, hey, you also have something a little bit different. One of the major selling points, in my opinion, as well for the SKX and the Razor is their sock liners because this is their Hyperburst Pro sock liner, which is their proprietary um, basically foam padding that goes in all of their performance footwear. So whether they're golf shoes, their football shoes, their basketball shoes, and their running shoes, their walking shoes, all that stuff, this Hyperburst Pro is much more bouncy than you might think. It's very, it's more bouncy than the old Boost material from Adidas that we used to get in like the 17.17, 17, you know, the Ace boots. Um, it's very bouncy, it's very comfortable under foot and I do think it adds enough of a performance benefit to mention it uh, and maybe it doesn't give you like air zoom levels of bounciness and performance but I would say as a subtle feature that goes inside the football boot that you don't really need to think about this hyperburst pro sock liner is actually very very good and I really like the underfoot feeling of it it feels super comfortable compared to other stuff on the market so overall SKX01 is a very good product. Um, it's, in my opinion, one of, I would say it's like probably third on the list for me of control boots, maybe fourth. Um, and that's in a group of like boots that I would say are top 10 on the market right now. Like they are all really, really good. Uh, and I would say the SKX is definitely a boot that could use some improvement for sure. Uh, I think there are some things we'll talk about a little bit more of like pros and cons of this boot out in the um, backyard when we try them on. But for me, this is a boot that does a really nice job of just managing not only the anatomical shape, but also just the way that it fits and has pretty good comfort and, and ball feel to it as well. So for me, really good product. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this silver and lime colorway. Do you like it? I tend to prefer this one over the look of the Razor, just because I think it looks a little bit more spaceshipy and kind of fun without feeling overly childish, if you will. Um, but yeah, really bold choice from a colorway perspective and I guess nice work sketchers. Not my favorite colorway by any stretch of the imagination, but I think they look pretty decent. So without further ado guys, let's hop into the on feet portion of the video and we'll talk a little bit about pros and cons of this particular model compared to others on the market, as well as fit, sizing, and all that stuff. Let's hop into it. All right, ladies and gents, out here in the backyard lacing up 
the SKX in this laser comfort pack. Um, I don't have my shoes on right now because I have just filmed a couple other reviews and I flicked them to the side, but they're dope and they're like rainbow pink colored and I love them. They're from ASICS, ASICS as we say in the US. Okay, Laser Comfort SKX. Really excited to try these on. I think these look, this colorway, this like pattern colorway, this silo in this, in this pack uh, definitely looks better than the Razor in my opinion. Um, this is an all silver football boot with a little bit of lime accents. I think works for me a little bit better than the more aggressive lime and black accented colors. Here we go. Yes, SKX for the win. They are very, very comfortable. Um, pretty unique feeling, like they definitely feel a little bit different than the other all knit boots on the market. I think that's more to the rigidness of the sole plate, which gives you pretty good snapback in my opinion, and then the softness of this fit knit. So that's sort of like the juxtaposition between the two makes for a very unique experience, playing experience. And on feet, they just, they fit really nicely, which is great. So um, one of the things that I am maybe not a huge fan of, of the SKX is this extra little like half collar material. Like this stuff just kind of looks inexpensive. Like the whole boot actually looks really nice in the silver colorway. I just wish, also this camera is like not, oh, there we go. Um, this colorway actually makes the book or the boots look incredibly premium in my opinion, um, but this little like f extra knit material just looks kind of weird. I don't know what they, like whether they just didn't want to do like a, I don't know. It's just very floppy and it doesn't look very nice on feet. I wish they had done a nicer job with the finishing touches on this, but needless to say, here is the all silver and lime Skechers XKX 01. My opinion, comfortable boots. Look how anatomical they look. Like, okay, yeah, maybe they're a little bit narrow in the forefoot, um, at least pointy kind of towards that big toe, but they're way more anatomical than a lot of other boots on the market, and you can definitely feel that as soon as you put your foot into the boots. I think they fit, you know, they fit well. They've got a nice heel area. I am feeling a little bit of pressure point kind of right there and there on my heel. Um, but that has since gone away on the other pairs that I have, so it's not something that I worry about too much. The only thing that I'm really, that's sort of pet peeve about these is that this area right here, and this happens on the SK, or excuse me, the Razor as well, there is a bit of space, like I can fit about that much of my finger, kind of right underneath the ankle area. That being said, I have a very thin heel and a wide area here in this midfoot, which causes this material here to bow. So it is my own fault, absolutely, but I do wish that the boots sat a little bit more flush to my foot. But needless to say, it is, uh, as I said, it's my fault. So sole plate feels really nice underfoot. It's very flat. So as you can see, if I don't flex my foot at all, the sole plate basically fits super flat on the ground. Like there is no toe lift, there's no nothing. And you're actually, once you are on your toes, you've got a nice amount of like snap back sort of energy return pushing you forward, which feels really good as well. Heel area feels nice. Um, outside of that little pressure point, as I said, the fit knit upper feels great as well. No complaints there. A um, little bit of pressure point here on the midfoot, but that's to be expected. And there's what they look like, full, full beans. I think the all silver without the kind of obnoxious lime colorway in contrast, this actually looks pretty sick on feet. Like a silver with the black kit makes it like, I'm, I've got the little windows here so I can kind of, it's like a mirror almost. They look kind of dope. So I don't know, it's kind of a nice colorway. It's kind of weird, like the, the razor is a little weird. The, the razor is like not my favorite from a colorway perspective, but man, the, uh, the all silver looks very spaceshipy and very cool. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this colorway. Now, you guys probably saw, if you haven't, you need to go check it out, the 
control slash power boot comparison video, like top five control boots, top five power boots on the market. These are obviously not in the top three. That being said, as I said in that video, most of those boots are very good. These are very good. Tequila, very good. GX, very, very good. Um, Predator, very, very good, right? All of those boots. It's a very, 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 it's a stacked competition. And so are you going to pick these up ahead of a Predator? Probably not for most of you. Um, and that's not my recommendation. That's just what I think you're going to do. That being said, if you're somebody who wants something really kind of different and fun, or you're somebody who absolutely loved the Phantom GT and what the Phantom GT was with that generative texture or whatever, these are a better fitting version of the Phantom GT and a better performing version of the Phantom GT. Touch on these is, it's crazy how similar they are. And they feel really good, quite thin compared to most knit football boots. So that's good because it is like a one piece upper with the grip texturing over the top of it. You're gonna get a really good and consistent feeling of the ball as well. Um, and I actually really like their, I always say that word wrong, precision, precision strike control, which is their grip elements all over this upper. So no matter where you're playing, whether you're passing it with the outside, the you're, you're toe poking it or you're gonna strike it with the inside or like an actual strike, you're gonna feel that strike control just a little bit giving you um, a little bit more kind of control around the ball and a little bit more feeling in wet and dry conditions, which is great. And it's one of those technologies that like, well, technologies, it's one of those grip elements, if you will, that in dry conditions doesn't feel sticky because unlike a grip knit, which is like sticky all the time, this isn't sticky, it's just like a textured material. And so in the dry weather conditions, especially for those of you who are on turf and you don't wanna fall on your face, this gives you that grip element without giving you the like, you know, I'm, I'm dribbling, 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 and then I'm gonna lose my crap and I'm gonna fall over on my face, right? So just, a, just an idea for you. Overall thoughts, it's a great product. Definitely think there are some things that I would argue could make this a little bit better. Um, sole plate will be fine for AG as well as FG. These are an FG model, um, but the sole plate is neutral enough, especially with the uh, their like triangular studs or, or excuse me, like rhomboid studs, almost kind of a diamond shape, but they're soft on the edges, so you'll get a good amount of like uh, rotational stability and rotational ability there. Again, Skechers has done a really nice job as a first, I mean, you guys are like, oh, Skechers SKX sucks, it's like comparatively, well, no, it doesn't, and you haven't tried it, so shut up. Um, <laughs> but second of all, this is, keep in mind, this is Skechers' first football boot. Like, this came out before the Razor did, so this is technically their first attempt. And the fact that we're even considering this football boot in the conversation of these other top-end football boots from brands that have been around for 30 years, that's pretty impressive to me. So I can only imagine that Skechers is gonna go even harder with this particular boot. The Skechers SKX2, whenever that comes out, will be even more advanced and even more fun to wear and even better because they have a massive budget, they're a huge company, and they definitely can invest in some football uh, players, obviously, like Harry Kane, who wear these, but also in that technology. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this Skechers XKX in this laser comfort colorway. I think they look pretty cool. They look pretty cool, pretty wonky. Um, down in the description box below, you'll find the discount code for the Wii Foot Socks, and you'll also find um, a link for the free size guide that I've put together. It's got every boot that I've ever worn and you can compare what my sizes are. So I'll wear you know, nine US or an 8.5 US or an eight US or whatever in each of those boots and you'll see it and then you can cross and compare what I wear to what your size is and then go up a half a size or down a half a size in all those different boots. So free size guide, it's like four pages long down in the description box below. It's all categorized by company. So all the Skechers boots will be together. All the Nike boots will be together. Asics, Mizuno, et cetera, et cetera for free. So it's on my website, down in the description box below. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.